Okay. Hey guys, how you doing? It's Andy Elliott. I'm here today with Mark. Mark is with Autobahn Academy. Okay, Mark, Mark is the owner. He, he runs Autobahn Academy. It's a training course. Mark is from, um, and, and I say a training course, it's for dealers, for service, for sales, uh, management, GMs. Mark, Mark trains all of them. Long story short, um, he is out of Quebec, Canada. Great guy. And we are going to partner on a sales boot camp that's killer. And by the way, this sales boot camp is free, right, Mark? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's free. It's going to be killer. It's cool. We're doing it right now um, because obviously, number one, we want to give back. And obviously, it's grind time. So now is a good time to learn some, some new skills, learn more skill. And obviously, this business is going to explode in the upcoming months. We want to have you to be ready to recoup all of that money and then obviously just crush it in 2020. And let's not change the target, change the action. Um, so, guys, I got Mark here with me. Mark, go ahead and introduce yourself, and I'll let you take it from here. Yeah, thanks. Um, you know, I've been in the car business for the last 15 years and ended up, like, realizing we, we as an industry, we need to get better, you know, just like you do with uh, your training you provide for car sales, right? But uh, I ended up, like, managing and creating my own course around marketing. And by that time, I realized I had everything I needed to bring other smart people onto the platform itself and add more value to dealerships. So fast forward today, we're in this uh, pandemic situation as of, as of right now. And uh, I just wanted to create something that was the ultimate value for car dealers today. And I, this is why I'm super excited that I, I got you on the, on the panel, on the, on the group itself, because I know you're providing like tremendous um, amount of value to your clients and online as well. I've been watching you for a while. And uh, for, for me, you're, you're black belt. So I, j I just wanted to actually see, I, I, I know you, but I know, don't know you personally. So I wanted to bring Andy Elliott to Autobahn Academy and see, you know, what's your story and how did you actually start in the car business? Okay, so um, great question. Number one, uh, I started when I was 18 and basically just to, to give it to you in a 30 second equation, um, yeah. I uh, have five brothers and sisters, okay? I have a dad, I have no mom. My mom is an alcoholic, she left when we were two. Long story short, I do not, I have never spoke with my mother, I don't speak with my mother. Um, she's just not a good positive person to be around. So my dad raises us, my three oldest sisters are the ones that my dad pays attention to the most because he doesn't want them to get in trouble, you know, they're girls, right? Yeah. He tells the boys, hey, don't get in trouble, and everything's going to be fine. That's all I care about. So no one made us do our homework. No one made us do things. My dad's not a bad dad. He was working all day long and he came home chasing my sisters. Okay. Well, that left us boys running around wild. Long story short, um, I'm 40. That's how things used to go back in the day. Moms keep the house together. I didn't have that. So I made bad grades. Okay. Made straight D's through school. Why? Because I had no training, I had no teaching, nobody held me accountable. I probably had the ability to make straight A's, but you know what? You just, you know, you don't know what you don't know it wasn't important, you know, so why was it important to me? So guess what? As long as I passed, I was gold. Long story short, tornado, May 3rd of 1999, a tornado crushes my whole school. I'm in Oklahoma. So in Oklahoma, we're in tornado alley, right? Yep. Tornado crushes, kills tons of people. We're in like martial law. There's tanks driving around, all this stuff. So May 3rd is at the end of the year. They say, hey, if you're not passing on your grades or if you want to take your semester test, go to the college, right? But if you are passing grades and your house was like bulldozed, because my house got smashed by the tornado. I mean, we chased an F6 tornado, bro. Like, it, we were crazy. We should have died that day. And it took out our school, took out our home. I mean, obviously, uh, one of the biggest tornadoes in history, 300-mile-an-hour winds. And you ask, Andy, where did you start? This is where I started because that day I graduated with straight D's and got to pass. Well, guess what? I go and I work construction for literally one, uh, one month. When I worked construction for one month, guess what happened? It sucked. I didn't want to do that anymore. I had a buddy whose um, older brother was a GM at a dealership. He said, Andy, what if you can make 5000 a month selling cars? First of all, I didn't even have a car, number one. Okay? I didn't have a dollar to my name. I didn't have anything. Well, I got in because car, selling cars, I don't think a lot of people 
I didn't grow up working on cars. Like, oh, I want to sell cars because I love cars. I just wanted to find my way. And I think a lot of people end up in the car business because they just want to find their way. Guess what? Yeah, for sure. I started and I remember my pants were like high watering. My shirt was too, the guy that um, his was the, the GM that hired me, which I don't know what he saw in me, but I'm going to tell you, he gave me the job as a kid when I was 18. And dude, uh, his dad had passed away. He was a GM in a Mercedes store, but he was a very small guy. He gave me his father's clothes to wear. I had none. Guess what? I look silly showing up. I remember the first day, everybody looked at me saying, hey, that guy's not going to make it. And by the way, that guy's not going to make it. I heard that my whole life. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Way to be the it. underdog, right? I am the true underdog. I mean, I mean it. And, 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 I, it. and I attract to underdogs. But with that being said, I remember showing up that day and I'll, I'll just move right through this. I ended up going outside, helping a gentleman. I treated him like a million bucks, which I didn't know what that mean, but I just treated people great because I love people. Even at 18 and I have anything, you, still, you love people or you don't. I love people. I was nice to him. I remember when he left, my manager paged me to the sales tower and said, Andy, do you know how much money you just made? Now, listen, never expect to get this lucky. Okay. This isn't typical. You know how you see a commercial and then they tell you about all these results. These results are not typical on your first card. Okay? It won't happen. <laughs> but he paid me to the tower and he said, Andy, do you know how much money you just made? And I said, dude, if I made $1, $5, because I haven't, I, I need to eat lunch today. So I didn't even have lunch. Like I would, he picked me up at 7 a.m. And I was prepared to stay till 11 at night without any money in my pocket, not knowing where lunch was going to come from. Like, I don't care. Right. I mean, I'm just going to grind it out. I'll figure it out as we go. I mean, cause that's what we do. You know what I'm saying? We just figure it out as we go. But guess what? He said, you just made $2,500. Holy. <laughs> Listen, I don't even know what to think. And I want to tell you, these results are typical, but these results are typical for everybody to get a taste of that. If they stick with it, that minute, my life changed. Do you remember, do you remember what call uh, what car was that? Or it was a Nissan frontier. And you know what really? the funny? You know what the funny thing is? Here's what's so funny. It was a, it was an older couple, and they wanted to leave and go get something to eat. Okay. And my GM, I go inside and I said, "Hey, they're wanting to leave and go get something to eat." Okay. And my GM said, "Not a chance in hell. You're going to eat with them." What? He said, "Yeah, you're going to eat with them." Nissan King Cab. Remember those little fold down chairs in the back? Yeah. He walks outside. There's three older people. He said, guys, great news. I'm giving Andy my credit card. He's taking everybody to lunch. He's jumping in the back. I jumped in the back of that king cab. We didn't ask them if I was going. He just <laughs> threw me in the back. And guess what? <laughs> Dude, we loaded up in it and we all went and ate Golden Corral. And when we came back to the dealership, he walked outside. His hair was slicked back, nice and smooth, reached out, shaked their hand, gave him a hug. And he said, let's get the paperwork done. And they just followed us inside. We did the deal for the first time in my life. I watched control. I watched, I watched a guy who, who knew what the next step was. And he was guiding the customer, which by the way, that's what great salespeople, that's what anybody does in life. They help people yep. take the next step. And you know yep. what happened? You, you asked me, how did I get started? What about Andy Elliott? Look, at that point, I realized that selling cars was my way out. And guess what? I wasn't in love with it at that time but I am totally passionate in love with it now. And I was totally in passion with it, in love with it about, about an hour later. Okay. And it's never changed and I've never backed down and I'm so full of passion and but it's not work to me. When I sell, when I train people, when I close, when I was a GM and we took a store sell, selling 150 to 600 a month, it wasn't work to me because I love it, man. I'm freaking ate up with it. I know I it shows, and actually, that that's what really got me drowned, uh, like like drowned to you in the first place, because I saw your your energy and your enthusiasm around the around the, the car industry, and I think we need this. People need this. This industry need this. Uh, car dealers need this, and you. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah people shows. always ask, you know, hey, how, how do you, how do you not burn out? I'm like, bro, you don't burn out when you love it. And yeah, here's the you deal: you're having fun. That's it. And honestly, with no new skill, with no, 
without giving your, your, your heart into it and really loving people, listen, it's just going to be a job. And by the way, there is no silver bullet in life. I think yeah. that people think that, you know, like, you know, maybe because their buddy's a doctor or going to college or doing this. And I, I don't have any problem with any of that stuff. You can be in your place and in a car dealership right now, dead broken on zero. You can be a dealer that's selling 50 cars a month. And I'm going to tell you right now, Mark, that dealer can, can go to 200. They can they just have to decide they're going to do it here. And yeah. then they've got to get the right type of training. And that right there, it fixed everything. And that's let what me, we do. Yeah, yeah, that I agree. And let me ask you this. Why didn't you, why did you choose going on to like do training in stores and online versus actually owning your store or your group? Because I'm sure you have the potential to, could have been like a multi dealership group right now, the ND and the, the auto group. Sure. No, that's a great question. I have people that, well, so number one, okay. Um, when I, when I became a GM, when I was, 27 years old. All right. Um, yeah. I did it. I did it for, well, and I wouldn't get into management. I did, Cause see, listen, just so I can explain this. Um, I don't care about titles. So what you just asked yeah. me was like, why don't you own your own store? Well, a yeah. lot of people do it for pride because they want to say, I own my own car. I, own my store, yeah. I don't care about that. Listen, I had a phrase I started when I was 18 years old. It was call me the janitor. Just show me the money. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Call me the janitor. Listen, I don't care. I don't want to be a manager. I don't want to be a GM. But the guy that talks like he, he runs the company, walks like he runs the company, dude, really just runs the company in general, right? No matter what his yep. title is, everybody gravitates for him. I've seen owners own stores. They have no control over their people and their people don't work for them passionately. I could be the janitor and I could stand up on a table and have a meeting and everybody could come in. You know why? Because I love every one of them. Because honestly, it's not the value that I have. It's the value that I add in their life that matters. And I think that that's missing in, in, in dealerships. I think that's missing with car sales and I think that's missing all across the, the deal. So when you ask, hey, why don't I own my own store? Look, and obviously I don't like to talk about money a lot, but I think it's important to talk about sometimes. I made 2.5 yep. million one year as a GM, okay? Now I'm gonna tell you this, I know owners that don't make a million a year that are owners. Here's what I'll tell you, you don't need a title. You know what you need? You need to believe in yourself and you need to wanna to help other people. I'm gonna share with you, I don't care what business you're in, it doesn't matter. If you don't help people, you won't be in business long, okay? You, 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 you want to have a store making a million dollars net and you want to take it to 12 million net, which is what I did at a dealership and I was a GM. Guess what happened? You know how I did it? I did it by giving it a shit about all the people that were around us and loving on them and caring about it. And here's the deal. Guess what? That's all this. That's how this world was built. You know, Canada, the United States. I don't care if you're in Africa. Dude, people just want to feel significant. They want to feel loved and you know, they want to be believed in, right? I mean, I know what it's like to not feel believed in. It yeah. sucks. Guess mm -hmm. what? I'm, I'm a rare breed where I like to be in the suck zone. And haters, look, I have these hater blockers that I put on like this. Okay, and I don't see you. So the cool thing about it is when haters come off, if I hear you, I'll use it as fuel in my gas tank and I'll roll. It doesn't stop me for a second. And actually, that, that hater, my biggest problem in life is trying to convert a hater to being a believer, okay? But there's a time limit I put on that now where I cut it off. If they don't want to convert over to the great life, just move on and pray for them, bro, move on. But owning a dealership, yeah. it isn't my deal. I'm not in it for the money. I mean it, I'm not in it for the money. I'm in it for this. There's a homeless guy that texted me this morning. He said, hey Andy, two weeks ago I was homeless. I made 3,800 in the last week. I just got a, a rent place for me and my wife. And because of your training, the GM pulled me out of nowhere and said, hey, I realize there was something going on with you, but I don't know what it is. You've just come up out of nowhere. The guy was sleeping in his truck, and now the guy's got a place to stay. He's got a check coming, and he's provided massive, I don't know, massive uh, attention to himself because he's, learned, he's watching my free YouTube videos. And guess what? He's practicing them in his car. Now he's in a place. Guess what? His GM went and gave him a free $500 car on trade row to drive for his wife so she can go get a job now. Yeah. Magical things are starting to happen to him. Dude, that story right Amazing, there man. to me, 
that that guy getting his life turned around is is more impressive than taking a guy who's making thirty thousand a month and taking him to fifty thousand. Yeah, because it, like you, you're you you just made like a real 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 difference in his in his in his own life and his wife's life as well. You know, that's that's the best testimonial you could actually get. Yeah, and, and, and so that's what I'm addicted to, and I I, I didn't get see as a GM. I can, I, can, I can help 100 people. As a trainer, I one day, I want everybody in the world to know me. Yeah, Not to know I'm, me as I'm I, sure they will because um, I, I know, I, I, I see because you're after leverage. You want to help thousands and hundreds of thousands of people, right? Yeah. Instead of 60 or 100 and that I get it. Do you, um, do you know actually how many like, people you trained? Like exclude your YouTube channel right now because it's crazy big, right? But uh, because I, I, you got like tens of tens of thousands of views on your videos, so that's great. How many actually? How many people that have you trained face to face? Do you know? I know it's a lot, though. Yeah. So right now, currently, um, so on Zoom, right on Zoom or in store. Yeah. Um, we're currently training 500 dealers. Okay. So dealers. Now take the people inside those stores. Some of those some of those dealers are 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 30 employees right? Yep. That are salesmen. Some of them are nine. You know, yep. people have different sales boards. Also on top of that, I'm currently training in my CRM, right? We have 28 or 29,000 salespeople that I have reached nice. out and talked to through text message and help. Um, but here's the deal. I only quit being a GM. Understand this. And this is what, you know, I, I, I so in 2014, I put out 15 YouTube videos. Okay. And I did it to just help people out. One day my wife's like, Hey, you need to put some training out there on YouTube. We did it. And we walked away and I went back to work. Yeah. Okay. Last, last year in July of 2019, I literally just walked away uh, from my GM job. Okay. Making a hundred grand a month as a GM. And I go home and tell my wife I'm done. We are going to start our own training company. I've had a training company for 10 years. And I would do it periodically because my heart kept pulling me back to it. But I told her, I said, hey, I'm 40. You know how it is. Like when you, I turn 40, I'm like, I'm not doing it anymore. I won't be bought, right? I mean, I'm not saying this in a bad way, but I no, just, I it won't. makes sense though. A, a guy could pay me as much money as you wanted. I don't want the money. For three months straight, Mark, I didn't take a single commission. I didn't take a dollar. I didn't take anything. I didn't ask anybody for a dollar. All I did was start putting out YouTube videos. We grew a channel from zero subscribers to 12,000 subscribers in six months. Here's yep. what I'll tell you. What it means is that people are raising their hand and asking for help. And all they want to do is just get the right kind of training that they can understand in 2020 that isn't outdated. Because what yep. I learned when I got on YouTube, I hadn't been on there in 10 years. I was hoping to find like some amazing content And what I found was a bunch of old, outdated training that people yeah. are still putting on today. Yeah. You know, I'm like, bro, listen, I'm closing car deals right now in 2020 in dealerships. And that stuff don't work. Yeah, it doesn't work anymore. People have uh, wisened up, right? It's not uh, the, like the consumers have wisened up. So. Well, you can still, listen, you can still be a one call closer on the phone. You can still do it but you have to have the right skill. What yep. you learned in 2018 doesn't work in 2020. You know, matter of fact, let's talk about this. In January of 2020, right, Mark? You didn't see what was happening right now in April of 2020, did you? No. Neither did I. Guess what? We were just forced within four months to shift again. Yeah. Guess what? I'm shifting already. I'm not afraid to change and I'm okay to change. I raise my hand, I ask for help every day. It's just hard to see people that are, that are continuing to elevate their game. I always call it going to deeper waters and playing with bigger fish. Find somebody who's better than you, okay? Find somebody yeah. who's better than you and just learn everything they have and just model them. It, it's yep. the cheat code. I call it the true cheat code in life. And what I do that now that I train dealerships all over the world, I literally, every time I'm in front of somebody, I will learn something from a guy who's selling for three days. And he'll say something, and I'm like, what did you just say? And he'll say something, and I'm like, damn, that's mine now, baby. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just be a student of selling for the rest of your life, man. 
Yeah, I know. And, and this is why this is so powerful. And by the way, like you get, get huge validation towards like the 30,000 people who are like actually working with you, like the salespeople and like getting 12,000 subscribers on YouTube is no easy feat if you're not doing like pure entertainment. So just on a side note, just congrats to that because um, Thanks, it's, it's really hard. It's a, it's a lot. It's a, it's not like, well, we couldn't, here's the deal. We could, me and you, whoever we are, we couldn't do anything without the people that are with us. Right. Yeah. I, I call it my brotherhood. I don't call them my clients. I don't call them my customers. I call them my brotherhood. I call them my yep. sisterhood. Listen, I, I'll, I'll say this. Everybody knows my cell phone, but it's 918-210-0254. Why I give it out is because I want them to reach out. I don't have automated text. I don't have responders. I don't have anything. It literally comes across on my phone. You. I, I look at it and you know what I do? I text and if somebody needs my help, I get on the phone immediately with them. It costs nothing. And by the way, I have, I have the same 24 hours in a day as everyone else. Yep. And you know what I do? I told my wife I'm dedicating 15 hours a day to the people in the world who need it. And my wife has my back. My children have my back. And guess what? When I'm home and I, and I play hard on the weekends with them, like I just told you this morning, we were swimming in the pool. It ain't yeah. even warm enough to swim, but we heated the sucker and we're making it happen. You know what I'm saying? And here's the deal, man. I just want to tell you that um, there's time. Everybody has time to get what they want. You know what well, I'm saying? It's true. You just, and you and just I don't mean decide, financially. Right? I mean like skill, you know, whatever, right? I mean, you know, you're building your business. I'm building mine. A guy starting brand new in a dealership today. You know, whoever. There's an owner out there. He's a GM. You know, he's got 20 sales guys. They're not motivated anymore. You know what I'm saying? They don't have the fire in their belly anymore. You know, they're, 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 they're complaining. Listen, success trains, success trains. If you want to be successful, you have to be training, not one day a week. Every yeah, and it, free it works in every aspects of life, right? So yeah, that's good. you get out of something, whatever you put into it. You want a great marriage, Mark? Guess what? You're married, right? Yep. Guess what? What happens if you don't invest in your wife? You already no. know. <laughs> it goes cold. Am I right? But what happens if you show her, I'm not saying that she won't love you forever, but if you show her massive love, if you make her feel significant and show her that she's number one, how does she treat you? Same, totally different. same way. Like a queen. Yep. Okay. And guess what? She is a queen. But if you don't treat her like a queen, she won't act like a queen. Guess what? Our top salespeople, our managers, our GMs, and our dealers, they are the one percenters. But because they are acting like a one percenter right now, we want to tell them how bad they suck. Every manager in the country should, that ever said somebody sucks should be fired on the spot at this moment. You know why? Because if you say somebody sucks and you're his supervisor, you should have let him go from day one, right? Or you should yep. have never hired him because he wasn't the right hire. But if you did hire him, your responsibility was That's to train you. him and take him to the next level. You have a responsibility for his life. So I don't want everybody to get fired. I want to raise my hand and say, give me your troops. Give me your team. Closing, negotiation, overcoming, follow-up. That's what you do. Give me your service yep. writers. Give me your managers. And, and listen, you can't put a sign on your desk that says, hey, I stopped learning a long time ago. Because most people have, and you've seen it. It's an invisible sign. And I walk into dealerships and I say, hey, how are you doing? My name's Andy. I'm, I'm the one who's going to be doing the training today. Great meeting you. And I see them look at me and they hear those words. I'm the one that's going to be doing the training today. And some of them go, yes. Gosh, man, I'm so freaking Jack, dude. I was telling my wife about you. We're going to kill it. I've got my notebook ready. I've already set new goals. Would you mind when we're done? If we sit down for a one-on-one, -on -one? I just got a couple questions. Dude, you have no idea what this means to have someone here to help me to do better in life. I have big goals. I want to take care of my family. I want to be the best me. I want to change my family future tree. You know what I mean? I don't want to, I want to break the generational chain. Yeah. Um, guess what? And then you got that guy that says, no, nah, I'm good, man. You know, I'll be in there. Guess what? That guy right there, he has no idea what he's doing. But listen, that attitude that he has, okay, progress flows over into area, every area of life. Your children, being a father, your, your, being a, a, a husband or a wife, right, if you're a woman, okay, well, male, it doesn't matter. Your business, your health, 
all of those things, once you start progress, it feeds into every area of life. What we do, Mark, it's not just about teaching people to, to make more money and become passionate about selling. It's about creating a fulfilled life so that they don't look up and regret yeah. 10 years from now, man, you know, that was a miserable experience, bro. It didn't have to be, you know, it didn't have to be. We all have a choice. Choose carefully. See you. Um, I, I know you've been meeting with a ton of dealers and a ton of different people and you just like highlighted it, but did you like, when you, when you see uh, like, let's say there's some guys that have been around for 25 years, maybe that's the, those are the ones not inclined to listen that much. It depends, right? It depends on the, on the character. And uh, like on the other, on the, on the other end, you got people that, that are just like starting in the auto business, like that are like completely green. What, what's the, what's the best, like, like the number one advice you'd have for, for these guys today? Are you talking about the ones that have been doing it for a while? Yeah. Well, Listen. let's go, let's go on both sides. Let's say, yeah. take it okay. like a guy that has been selling cars for 30 years. Okay. So number one, I, I, uh, I don't say this out of arrogance or cockiness. I say this out of confidence. Okay. You don't know what you don't know. Okay. Yeah. So what I do is, and, and, and listen, I will walk into a dealership, a GM or an owner has called me to train his crew. Okay. And I will walk in and I know this people fear what they don't know, but people have been allowed to hide behind faking it and winging it for years. Now that 30 car hand, do you think he's a talented animal or do you think he's been faking and winging it for a long time? Probably has some decent skills, understands the process, but guess what? He hasn't sharpened his sword in years, right? Mm -hmm. You know what I do? First thing I do is I walk in, I introduce myself to everybody. And what I do is that I look for people that are attentive. And the, and the first one that's not, I say, bam, you, I got you. Come on up here. And immediately I pull them out of their chair. And they're like, what? And I'm like, hey, come on up here, man. Look, so everybody, this guy's been doing this for 30 years. I love it when people have been doing it for a long time. You are the veteran, you're the leader, you are the mentor of the group. And they're like, well, I don't know about that. And I'm like, yeah, you are, yeah, you are. Listen, here's what I wanna do because you've been doing this the most longest. How many car deals have you worked in your lifetime? Millions of car deals, man. <laughs> this is, guys, this is called Damn. a pro. This is called a pro. Here's what I wanna do. I'm gonna write down on the board a negotiation, okay? Because I know you've been in many of them. Mark, you've been doing this for 30 years, you've been in negotiations. A guy's buying this car, He's trading in this one. He wants to be at 300 a month. The payment's going to be 550 because we know our job as salesmen is to deliver bad news. That's what we do all day long because people don't come in and want to be at 300 a month. And we walk in and say, Hey, great news guys. I got your payment at 250. No, we're that dude that says, Hey guys, great news. I got your payment at 500. Am I right? We are constantly delivering numbers. If you're a service advisor, do you think they're going out there and then, you know, telling people they have $70 bills or they're going to tell they have people $700 bills on their cars? We're all in the same life as salespeople. Stuff costs and people don't want to pay it. But we're the person who has to give the customer reasons and excuses why they should pay. That's our job. Guess what? Tell him, I need you to take this marker and I need you to close me at $550 a month. And because you've been doing this for 30 years, I know it won't be a problem. I'm your customer. You're the salesman. Go. Guess what happens? They lock up on the spot. And they realize for the first time that they don't know what to say. And they've been winging it. And guess what? I say, I understand. Let me show you how I'd have done it. I close it. That guy for the first time goes, God, man, that was... That was amazing. And I say, bro, that's what learning is. Now, I want yeah. to ask you, we just started this five minutes ago. I've got three hours of amazing training. Would you be willing to learn more from me? Would that be okay? Look, I don't, it's not about who I am. It's not about the value that I have. I don't want to tell you I've made a million in a year. You don't care about none of that. You know what I care, you know what you care about? What value I have that I can add in your life. That's it. When you, when, when we're done after this three hours, what will you go home with? Will you be 10 times better? Will you? They've had so much bad training in their life, Mark. There's been so much flim flam and outdated training and bull crap. Like, guess what? 
that 30 year, year hand, no disrespect, he didn't do anything wrong. He just had to sat through some crappy training 10 times with some dude that didn't teach him anything. And guess what? He saw me and he's like, oh, that's that dude again. No, I'm not that dude. But you don't know what you don't know. So I have to show you. So my deal is with a 30 card hand, I have to physically show him. I have to show him, okay? He's, he's pre-internet. He didn't grow up on the, on the internet, right? So he's a visual learner. And, you know, they say, show me, show me, show me. You have to show him. That guy, he's my best friend now. He'll go sit back down. And when we're done, that 30, that 30 card, the 30 year hand, he's the first dude that walks up and says, you just changed my life. You know what? I was very hard hearted and I did not have a growth mindset. I have a very fixed mindset before you came in. You changed my mind. And I'm thankful for that. And guess what? And I tell him now he's come as a student. He can go home as the teacher. He's a teacher now. Everybody else for the rest of your life. And I tell him I'm proud of him. And guess what? That dude's a different dude now. He's different for his management. He's different for his sales manager. He's different for his family. And what he just learned, he takes home to his wife now. Guess what? He even spices up his marriage. Yeah. It's called progress. And you, you, you mentioned like um, growth mindset. Is that like, would that be the first like kind of mistake people still don't have in, a, in the automotive business in, in, in your experience? Because this is really important. It's, it's true in life, but it's true in business as well. Whatever job you may, you may do, right? Yeah, you, you, you just have a choice, okay? If somebody doesn't have a growth mindset, which means they say, listen, I want to tell you this. If I'm the only right person in the room, am I getting any better? No. You know what I pray? So I have a team that, I, that, that work for me, okay? And every day I have the same meeting with them, Mark. Mark, let's say me and you work together. I'll say, Mark, I need you to prove me wrong today in something. Because if I'm right every day about everything I say, I'm never growing. Yeah. Please prove me wrong. I would love for dealers, okay, to say, please prove me wrong. I would love for salesmen to say, please prove me wrong. You know, the biggest problem with people in the world is that they've been through something in the past and it's labeled them who they are today. Yeah. And that dealer, he's selling 80 cars a month right now. He's a 200 car dealer. He might tell you about demographics, the people in his area, all this. I don't care about none of that. Let me go in and run a store for one month. I will, I will double his business. How? Because I have a growth mindset. I see the holes where the money's bleeding and I see the holes where the money's not coming in. Why? Because I'm an outside the box thinker. I am okay to have my mind changed today. Me and you were just talking yesterday about some stuff with marketing. And you know what? What did, what did you do? You told me about an idea. Guess what? I've already got it going on right now. It's already done. Good. And I want to tell you something. So many people let ideas fall to the wayside and they don't use them. Now, I understand this. If you have a team around you that just talks about ideas all day long and they don't put them into place, that's nothing. Here's what a true leader is. Let me give you the definition. A guy that can go to a meeting, take an idea, and then when he leaves the meeting, he's already got it put in place. Mark, Think about this. You're the owner of a dealership and you tell me, you know, or, or uh, you're, you're, you're the GM and you're telling your salespeople, okay, whatever. Hey guys, I think we should do this. Guess what happens? You walk out and five hours later, you look up and somebody has already got that idea going. They've already not taken it from an idea. They take it from an idea. They put it into action and they're making it happen. Guess what? A thought is an idea. Actually doing it is the action. So many people never put the action into place. And what we do when we train is that honestly, we give ideas, but because you're not the employee there and you're not the one doing it, they won't take action. So what we have to do is we have to motivate like no other and we have to give bulletproof strategies and plans that work and, and hold their hand and walk them through it until they do it and get it done. And then guess what? Once the success starts popping, then they have to go with it to the next level. And we pray out there that obviously, you know, people want to go to that next level because like you said, if you don't want to, um, you're, you'll self-sabotage yourself. Yeah. I mean, how many times have you told somebody to do something that was amazing and then they say, ah, no, that ain't going to work. And guess what? You and that guy don't really have anything to talk about. It sucks. 
You can sit there for hours and convince them. And by the way, I am guilty of sitting there trying to convince somebody forever. As long as I see hope in them. See, there's been, so maybe you are a dealer and Mark, you're asking a dealer to do business with you, but you know what? He did business with another company and you know what they did? They didn't give him any value. His numbers never increased. He didn't sell any more cars. He didn't get a hire per copy. And guess what happens? He thinks that you're that guy again. Yep. Mm -hmm. I always said this. If you go into a Starbucks, right, which there's Starbucks all over the world, you go into a Starbucks and you were to sit there and have a survey. And, and let's say I was a surveyor. And as people walked up to the Starbucks, I would say, hey, can you do me a favor? Can you describe a car salesman for me? You know what they would say? Robbers, thieves some bags, liars, you know, they, they would say everything. Now watch this. Okay. And this is how I live. If I was to help you in a car dealership and then I surveyed you and asked, what did you think about me? They would say helpful, kind, you know what I'm saying? Competent, confident. You know what I'm saying? That is all we should care about. We don't need to care what other people have to think about us we, or, or uh, other people in the world. We just need to care about our crew, our people, our team, what we can control. You know what we can control? You can't control me, right? You can control you. Guess what? If I had one word of advice to every GM, dealer, owner, salesperson, I don't care, service advisor, technician, I don't care. The one thing that you can control is yourself. Ask yourself one question. Are you coachable? Are you teachable? Are you willing to learn? Yes or no? If the answer is no, never expect life to get better and you're going to wake up 20 years from now and you're going to be that dude in the nursing home that's full of regret. Or you can raise your hand right now and say, yeah, you know what? I got burned. Maybe I got put together. Maybe I haven't had fair. Guys, life ain't fair. But I want to tell you this. You can change life right at this moment. By saying, you know what, I'm going to put it behind me and I'm going to team up with somebody that I believe in and I'm going to give a second chance. I get in your heart broke saying I'm never going to love again. Listen, you never know. You, you might miss out on the love of your life and your best life ever. Okay. Nobody wants to die alone and lonely. You know what I'm saying? Guess what? Yeah. You just got to get over it. You got to suck it up. Listen, but guess what? We'll prove them wrong and they'll find good training. And then for the first time, They'll drink some Kool-Aid that tasted different than anything else they had in their life. And then they'll give it to their team. And you know what will happen? Something magical will happen. For the rest of their life, they'll never live with regret. They'll be fulfilled. They'll stay in a beautiful state. And they'll have become a, a student of learning again. You know what I'm saying? It's not just about selling. It's about taking care of people. It's about actually caring, you know, about, you know, I, I, I want to elevate my game every day. I don't want to go stagnant. I, I want to think big. Me and you were just talking a minute ago and you were making a joke about my water jug. See this? See how big <laughs> this water jug is? Like, I went into the store and I had a choice. Do I buy a small water or a giant water? Oh. I picked out the biggest water I could find. You know what I'm saying? And that's maybe just a parable to what we're talking about. You know, Grant Cardone, I, I, I'm not a big fan of watching his training because it's old and outdated, but he is a very good motivator. And I will yep, tell you this, okay? He says 10x. With that being said, just 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 10x your life. You know what I'm saying? You know, just 10x everything. He is not the guy to go to for training, but his quote that he put out in his book, his book he made 10 years ago, was just whatever you're doing, just take it and do 10, 10 times more of it. Okay. Yeah. And that means yeah. loving people 10 times more. You know what I'm saying? It's not just about working and grinding. So many people want success so bad they leave their family behind while they're doing it. Yeah. By the way. Yes. Mark, the better you get at something, right, the more time you have with your family. But I will share something with you, okay? And I, and I wrote this on my board. There's two things in life, and, and, and you know, obviously there's a time where we'll end this um, call. So, you know, obviously people only got an attention span to so long to watch something. No, but what, what, what we're going to do, we're going to keep going, but we'll do a part two for, for that because there's so many, there's so much so much stuff we could we could talk about today right so but i want yeah. you to think about these two things mark i want to tell you this these two things are what i keep wrote right here on my board it's real big it says this how can i become anything look mark what what do you want to become tell me you want to become anything just whatever just tell me say andy i want to become this how do i do it? 
like in in my personal life or yeah whatever just say andy how, like, how do I, I, do I just, like right now i i want to be a great dad to my kids okay watch this mark put the work in yeah it says big across my board put the work in put the work in yeah that's it that's it, that's it. watch ask, simple, me another, right? ask, ask me another one andy i want to be a better father Put the work in. Andy, I want to do great in my business. Put the Put work, work in. in. <laughs> Andy, I want, to, I want to get in better shape. Put the work in. Andy, I want to be closer to God. Put the work in. You Put know what? I, right beside me here, you can't see it right now, but I got my quote wall. So every single line that inspires me to be better, this is going to make, uh, make it on the quote wall. I'm, I'm going to steal this one from, from you. Put it on there. Just put the work in. And all, I, there, There's two things that I live by, and it's this. It's called talent and effort. Okay? Number one, I have to be a hundred times more talented than anybody. If, you, if you've never known my fear, and we'll kind of end this, but I'll tell you this, and I'll let you finish. But my fear in life, if you were to ask me, Andy, what's your kryptonite? Like, what is Andy's kryptonite? Guess what? I'll tell you what it is. I fear that I will run into somebody who's better at me than in my field. That's what I fear. I fear like I'll run into somebody who's better than me. Guess what? I am ready for him. I'm not arrogant. I'm not cocky. I'm confident. I'm ready. I spent, listen, last night I spent two hours in my conference room training, closing negotiations, block tackle, overcome objections, the whole drill, right? And I'm going to tell you, those two hours I spent, you know who I thought about the entire time that I did it? I thought about that sucker I'm going to run into one day. And I'm praying I meet him. And when I do, I'm freaking ready. Okay? And I wish everybody in the world would say, I am waiting for that guy. There's a lot of people that are better at me, but when it comes to selling cars, when it comes to teaching people to become, I don't think there's a single person in the world that can teach a salesperson to elevate their game as fast as I can. That quick, I can make guys get fast wins. A guy named Trayvon Martin, his father died, right? Listen to this, dead broke, who was gonna roll out to be a freaking thug, I already know it. Check this out, the guy's 18 years old, black kid in Tulsa, Oklahoma. I get a hold of the kid in freaking November, okay? And I told him, I said, hey, listen to me. I freaking believe in you. I believe in you. I believe in you. I told him that every single day. Yep. The kid bought my course with money he didn't have, okay? But he, but he found it. Whatever you want, you'll find the money for it, okay? Yep. He yep. came to our, my master closer seminar and trained with me in person, right? Right here. And let me grind on him for nine hours straight over closing negotiations so we could, I could teach him how to hold his gross. The guy sent a video. If you go to my Car Sales Nation page, right? So, like, I know you're a member. If you go to Car Sales Nation, yep. right now, he Facebook, uploaded, right? Yeah, go to Facebook. Go to Car Sales Nation this morning. Um, and uh, just type in Andy L.A. Car Sales Nation. You can pull it up. Check this out. Trayvon Martin put a video up this morning, which I didn't, I didn't even talk to him. He just threw it on there. And he said, Andy, I want to let you know in March, in the middle of the pandemic, everything going on, yeah. all I did was think about everything you taught me all day, every day. Number one, since the seminar, I haven't talked to him in a long time. He said, since the seminar, I haven't caught up with you. I've made over 10,000 a month every month since I went to your Crazy. seminar. Crazy. He's 18. Listen, but he goes, let me tell you one other thing. I want you to watch the video when we're done. Go there and yeah, watch. I will. I will. But he says, Andy, I made $18,000 in March. He's like, I don't, I don't know what to do except for just to tell you, thank you for what, not training me, but for believing in me. Yeah. Mark, we believe in everybody in this world and no matter where they're at, I do. whether yeah. they have a lot of money or they're broke on zero, they can join guys like us that aren't in it for the money. Sure. We have products. Sure. We have things. We have a family we have to feed too. But at the end of the day, we will always guarantee we provide massive value for them so that they can change their life and change their whole future. You want to know what your future looks like? It's the way you create it today. Yeah. That's Abraham yep. Lincoln. You know what I'm saying? So no, go ahead. No. I'll let you finish off. What's, what's next? Mark? No, it's all good. You know, I, I, I wanted to, I wanted to do a first interview with you share, uh, who's Andy Elliott with the rest of Photoman Academy, because, uh, obviously I've been, uh, I've been a huge fan for a while. So we're going to do a part two, if you're okay with that. Yeah. Um, I'd like, I got a, like a, f a few more questions I'd like to ask you, but uh, that'll be for another time. But before we go, 
could actually could, can you actually share with us um, where can people find you online? Yeah, so um, number one, obviously, if you go to Facebook, right? Yeah, you can just go to go to your search bar on Facebook and type in Andy A N D Y Elliot E L L I O T T two L's two T's, and then type in Car Sales Nation S A L E S is in sales nation, and then they can pull it up and then they can join the group. It's free. It costs nothing. They can join. Us. Secondly, um, you can go to YouTube and you can just type in Andy Elliot on YouTube. And it'll automatically filter me. Um, and you can type in car sales, Andy LA car sales. It'll pull it up. Yeah. And we put on, you know, um, like I said, motivation, closing, negotiations, overcoming. I mean, just the processes, yeah. everything, phone skills, we cover it. Um, and then the second side is, um, how can they find you, Mark? How can find people me? find you? How, oh, how can people um, find you? I know, I know your boot camp people know who you are. Somebody watching yeah. this, how can they go check you out? How do they like, find you? Yeah, well, I'm pretty much anywhere you can find me. So you can actually go to autobahnacademy.com. That's my website. Um, you get all the links uh, that are there as well. You see, you'll see the podcast link as well. I'm uh, big on LinkedIn as well. If you search my name, Marc Lavoie, M-A-R-C-L-A-V-O-I-E. It's, um, you know, I'm really active on LinkedIn as well. You can actually find Autobahn Academy on Facebook too. Uh, you just, you just got to type in Autobahn Academy in yeah. the search bar. So that's the main three places you could find me right now. Yeah. And, and I have a website that, I mean, obviously I have courses. We do in yeah. store training. I mean, we, amazing we do too, all, so. all kinds of stuff, but you can go to the Elliot group now.com. Yeah. And yeah. obviously that's our website uh, that we host everything. Real on. quick. Do you, do you mind sharing with me what, 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 first of all, two things, what kind of online programs do you have on your website? So the fastest, so, so the number one thing I would recommend to anybody who has not trained with me ever, okay, would be, I have a course, it's called zero to hundred thousand fast car sales training course. It's not only teaching you how to make six figures a year, but how to make six figures, which is a hundred grand over and over and over again through the year. Because if January starts, you, you obviously, some people are like, hey, I want to make a hundred grand. That'd be great. I want you to get to that hundred grand as fast as possible so we can repeat it again. Yep. My biggest year ever selling cars was 715,000 as a salesperson, which means I was able to turn that seven times through the year. Okay. That's possible for everybody. I'm nobody special. I wasn't raised with, you know, my parents telling me to think big and, you know, do this. I, you know I mean? I just found that on, on, on books and help me VHS tapes. We're old. So I'm 40. I feel 16, but I'm saying like, you know, we had VHS tapes, right? I mean, DVDs were like, oh my God, you know what I'm saying? And that was cool, <laughs> you know, or, or CD player, you know what I'm saying? But anyways, I had CDs that I would listen to, you know, Brian Tracy, you know, I'd listen to, you know, uh, Grant Cardone, Zig Ziglar, you know, um, you know, all these guys. Now their training is, is beautiful, but it, it's all outdated. So unless anybody's training now in 2020, it's gone away. So my zero to hundred thousand fast car sales training program, it's 299 bucks. It's simple. You can even finance it. Here's the deal. I give you the course now and you can finance it for payments of $29. I, I don't care. Why? Because I don't care if you have money. I care that you start training. Yeah. And it's yeah. 20 to make a difference. So yeah. obviously I, I've seen what's included in that, uh, in that training program. And uh, I think you're crazy selling that your $300, but I get that you want to, you know, spread that knowledge to the most people you can. Right. Yeah. So, and then also we have a, um, we have a negotiating course, right? Mm -hmm. It's called mm -hmm. elite negotiating course. Obviously there's, I call it a three headed dragon. One, you have to be crazy at lead generation. You have to be able to fill your pipeline as a salesperson. That's crucial. If yeah. you don't have anybody to sell, doesn't matter how great you are at selling. Then number two, once you get a customer, you have to be the best salesperson in the country because selling is ultimately what creates somebody to want to say yes to buy it. And then number, so that's two, that'd be the, the two on the third, on the second dragon head here. The third would be the closing and negotiating. Why? Because guess what? Most guys in our, in our age or, or in our business right now in 2020, they're paid off volume or gross, one or the other. So guess what? Yeah. If you can get the lead, if you can get them to say yes to buy it, now you have to close them. And some of you guys have to close them for all the money. So with that being said, you have to become a master closer. So um, we have a, a Facebook remarketing course that we sell. We have a zero to hundred K. I would recommend if anybody hasn't framed with me, get to zero to hundred K, forget about everything else. Um, get that first. After that, you're going to be like, you're going to be a different person. Like I'll change your name. 
like your name won't even be Mark. We'll have to call you like something else because you won't be Mark's dead. <laughs> You're gonna be a different dude. And then I have like overcoming objections books. I have 52 plus word track books where all the word tracks that I use to advance the sale forward. Um, I have a, a, a weekly crush it planner. Um, instead of breaking down a year into 12 months, I break it down into 52 weeks. It's yeah. easy for salesmen to smart. view That's really 50, smart. 52 wars instead of 12 months. Because how many times did you see the salesman mid-month give up? A dealer mid-month not tracking his money and he gives up here because he already envisions a washout check not happening. Listen, break yeah. it into weeks. True. Break it into weeks. Um, anyways, but lastly, I do what's called the Master Closer Seminar, and it's right here in my conference room. We take 80 people. Um, right now, we're doing it every quarter. We were about to change it to every month because I want to do it every month. Um, but because of the pandemic stuff, we obviously yeah. push that out just a tad until everything shoots. You're going to get there anyways. It's gonna... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ho hopefully in 30 days, that's over. But anyways, and then we fly out and I do in-store training. Um, so that's it. But I would tell, man, if anybody hasn't trained with me, um, just go to the elliotgroupnow.com and get on, and you can type in Andy Elliott on Google or the Elliott Group on Google and it'll pull it up. But I would tell you yep. that uh, you talk about transitioning, changing your life. I'm, I'm in it for the long tail game, which I know you are too. I want to be doing this for the rest of my life. But I love to see salespeople and, and dealers and people get fast wins those two words mean a lot to me fast wins fast wins is feeding the machine and motivation so if i in my course can take someone and then next week they can double their car sales just by starting the course that's beautiful so yeah. that's why i recommend everybody go to that course fast because we've sold over five thousand courses and every single person that has got it I haven't had one bad review. I am waiting for a person to tell me it sucks and I'm flying out to their house and having to talk to them. Yeah, everybody, that's, that's the way to do it. Yeah, yeah it's sure. changed everybody's life. So um, yeah. anyways, that's why I recommend that as the place to start. Well, yeah, you know, I, I love it. It's, it's really, it's, one, it's, afford, it's affordable. And two, you know, I, I've seen everyone that's been impacted from that course and it's crazy. I mean, like I can't even count how many, <laughs> how many reviews and testimonials you got. That's the, that's the best reward and that's the best like payoff. I, I, I know you live for that. So yeah, I love it, man. Yeah. And, and we got big things coming. So let's, uh, we'll do another one. We got the sales boot camp coming up, right? Yeah. Um, when you shoot me a link, obviously I don't have a link yet, but when you shoot it to me, I'll throw it out on YouTube. I'll put it down cool. below so people can jump in it. And, um, yeah. Anyways, um, I want you to have a great and day. And you got a super, like, a, your top secret project coming too, so, huh? Yeah, I've got two things that are coming. And, dude, I want to say it so <laughs> I can't bad, wait. But, but maybe, maybe, maybe we'll, we'll, we'll give a, a tease on the next one what it is. It's wicked, man. Honestly, it keeps me up at night. I wake up in the middle of the night. It's like, ah! You yeah, know, it's like, that, I just want to yeah, grab it that right I, now. That I get it. I, uh, it I got it's an so engineer fun. that's almost done with it. I can't, I just can't wait to uh, to see that and um you know it, it's it's really fun to actually be really motivated uh, like and the like through the impact you're you're actually putting out to the world right and we're Thanks, we're, we're we're impacting car sales right now you know it's some like but it's you know it's it, it, I I find it impressive right now I like the feeling I got um, in my chest every every time I wake up in the morning and see I'm gonna help more people today I genuinely believe you got the same fire so. This yeah. is actually really yeah, amazing. Changing people's lives, man. Really. It's just, it's people helping people. You can't put it any other way. And so many people are in it for the money and those people won't make it. They'll die out. And all you have to do is buy one product for them, just one from them. And you'll realize exactly what happened. A lot of people, and, and here's another deal. A lot of people, just you doing this free sales boot camp, it just shows something. People always ask, why do you put out so many YouTube videos? Okay, yeah. but like, and, and, and let's end on this, but I want to say this. Let's talk about like Grant Cardone, right? I mean, and, and I'll talk about him for a minute. When's the last time he has went on YouTube or any platform, Facebook, and taught how to negotiate a deal for free? Never. Yeah. Never. You can go back and watch when he was in his 30s when he did it in front of nine people when he got started, just like, you know, we did a long time. You know, like you can see that, but he doesn't do it anymore. Yep. And here's the deal. You have to spend money with them to get that. It makes, it, it makes me wonder, are you really getting 
a great training anymore? Or are you just buying into the brand? So what I make sure that I'm really clear of is that daily I put out a free YouTube video giving yeah. free training that, that people can see, hey, this dude's still right on point. Yeah, and to anyone like wondering this and is, is watching right now, like you're not just putting like putting videos out there just for the sake of it. It's actually really impressive and really genuine and powerful stuff every day. I, I know I, I, I obviously I'm subscribed to your channel I, on two different places actually. So I, I watch all of them and it's, you know, it's. Yeah, I'm grateful for you, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. awesome. And in, 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 in every relationship, just the way me and you are talking, everybody else out in the world could have that same conversation with us. I don't yeah. care how big I get five years from now, I want to take over the whole entire automotive industry. I want to, that's my goal. That's my goal. Right. But you know what, whether I hit my goal, don't hit it. I don't care what happens. Okay. No matter what happens, my cell phone number won't change. You can still text me. I'll still call you. Remember I said that here's the deal. You ain't getting a hold of Grant Cardone right now. Okay. It's a hundred thousand dollars to talk to the guy from dude. Yeah. Are you freaking kidding me? So is it about money or is it about helping people? And I get it that we're all going to go big and we're going to do big things, but never forget about the people that were with you along the way. I'm just going to say this. Um, I really, I'm very respectful of Gary B. I love Gary B. Okay. You know, obviously you, I'm sure you know who Gary B is, but yeah. he, he cusses a ton. He's crazy, but you know what? He loves his people. Yep, he, he loves does. them. I watch him every day and he is a, an example and a reminder to me to love other people. And no matter what happens, how big you get, no matter what happens, never change loving the people. Be there for him, man. That dude that's living in his car, he ain't going to get a hold of somebody when they go big. Dude, I want to be there for that guy. I want to be for the guy who's at the top, who's making 500 grand a year and wants to go to 800. And I want to be there for the guy that doesn't have a job and he's thinking about walking into a car dealership and getting his first job. And um, we're going to tell him how to do it. And um, either one of them gets their life changed. But we're at the top and we're at the bottom. There's no judgmental of what's your yeah. class, how much money do you have. If you call Cardone University right now and you want to do business with them, you know, the first thing they ask, we want to ask you some financial information. Yeah. Yeah, Mark, how much money do you have in assets? Mark, are you willing to invest in yourself? How much money do you have today? Something I mean, else, I'm, you know. I, before you even get to the salesman, they're fielding the call, finding out how much you got. Come on, man. You know what I'm saying? No, it's a different I, approach. I, I got tons of respect for that, uh, that, like, that business, but it's something else. It's not on my end. It's not what I'm trying to achieve. I'm, I'm, different, like, I'm taking a different yeah. approach. Yeah. But you know, no, that, no, that's me too. Zone, so. Well, and that's why I was telling you that, um, I just, I wanted to lay that out there. Just like we're talking about, no matter how big we go, no matter what happens, that bottom line level of getting in touch with your people is never going to change. Yeah. Let okay. this serve as a reminder maybe in the future. So that's, uh, that's really good. I, yeah. um, we're, we're going to wrap this up. We're just under an hour now. Um, we'll obviously be doing a part two because I got, I got some, like things I want to touch like in deeper way, um, go, go deeper in some, on, on some topics. So, um, thanks so much, Andy Elliott. Um, and, um, you know, we'll be, uh, we'll be in touch really soon for, uh, for a few, uh, a few things I'm sure. So. All right, brother. Well, I appreciate you, man. And have a great day. Okay, bud.